Good afternoon, internet friends. Welcome to another episode of Dabbling with Dan. And today I want to kind of show you uh, how to assemble an electric remote control glider, fly it, and land it successfully. So uh, this past year I received a box on my front doorstep and my brother mailed me this glider. And there were, uh, well, I was quite surprised and very very excited. So I've flown it a few times and I've crashed it a few times. So what I'm trying to do today is not crash it, but you know, it could happen. So what we have here is we have a couple uh, styrofoam wings and they're gonna be held on to the glider uh, with this graphite bar and a couple screws. So let me go ahead and begin to assemble this. And uh, we gotta make sure we put the wings in the proper position. And they actually have uh, this specific glider, it's called the Night Radian, and it has LED lights throughout the wing and the body of the uh, glider, which I hope to show you here. And when you're flying it, kind of towards the later part of the day uh, is quite visible from from the ground. Okay, there's one. And I haven't I I began flying uh, remote control airplanes probably my first year of college. Uh, I was interested in learning how to fly airplanes, and I thought, you know, having this as a hobby would be beneficial because obviously, you know, you learn a lot about lift and um, you learn the value of knowing what to do so you don't crash. And then a, about a year later, I actually began, uh, began flight training and I got my private pilot's license uh, a couple of years later. So, she's trying to get this wing secured. All right. Now, over it's a simple you know glider it's made out of styrofoam and uh, the, the rear has a, a rudder and an elevator uh, it doesn't have any airline airlines on the uh, wings which is fine you don't need it and it's got an electric motor and when you're flying it uh, when you launch it you have the electric motor going on and of course the props will fly out bite into the wind and you can take up to the altitude you want it and then you cut the throttle off and the uh, engine shuts off and then you just glide. So you can actually stay, if you know what you're doing, you can stay up in the air for quite a while. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is install the battery. And they have a nice little slot that will fit into. And there it goes. And now I have to connect the battery. To the to the glider. Now, of course, one of the things that will happen is you'll hear a little bit of uh, some noise, and if you're not careful, that prop if you left like the remote control unit on and the uh, throttle was. Uh, where the power was on the throttle, that prop will start coming, coming on. It could actually cause you some damage. All right, everything's gonna get tucked, tucked right underneath this windshield here. All right. So the the power is on, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on 
this and make sure that I can do a couple things with this unit. Now the wind is on my back, so when I launch it, I'm going to readjust the, the camera so you can see, but there's my elevator and my rudder and this to fly, I need to hit this power on this motor. All right. So, the next thing is to launch it and not to crash it. So I'm gonna launch into the wind and I'm hoping that I can keep keep this uh, in the field of reference. Now this will just be a short flight. A little bit of a rough landing, but you kind of get the concept. I'll go walk up there and get it, and I'll take you guys with me. Not too far. So to fly these, you have to have obviously a lot of space, and this is a perfect place. Although there are a couple telephone poles, which uh, add an element of challenge to this hobby. But with these electric gliders compared to the gasoline engine ones that I started out on, there's no mess. They're fairly, uh, fairly easy to fly. Okay, looks like the uh, glider survived that flight, although it popped off the uh, little cap here. So, again, this is a, a fun hobby that uh, for, you know, a few hundred dollars, I think the glider itself was about 120 bucks the battery was about another $45 and the uh, remote control unit uh, I bought it on uh, eBay it was used uh, normally they're about two three hundred dollars and I got it for a little bit over a hundred bucks but I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to uh, assemble an electric glider and take it for a short flight hope you enjoyed this video you all have a good day take care bye